and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be showing you some of our favorite colorful palettes. I know in the past I did a video where I showed you and ranked my favorite neutral palettes, but today we are going to be showing you some of our favorite colorful palettes. And the assignment was to choose one from each brand that we had. Okay. And so, not a lot of color pop palettes, not a lot of BH palettes, um, things like that. So, we could only pick one from each brand that we had. Okay. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Jennifer. This is my husband, Aaron, who joins me occasionally. And on my channel, I do makeup related material, I do unboxings, and to put a cherry on top, I am agoraphobic, so I That's do. A tasty cherry. So I do talk about agoraphobic topics and mental health issues. If you are interested in any of those topics, or if you're interested in all of them, I would love it if you hit the subscribe down below and tap that notification bell and set it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Every single time. So, however YouTube does it, I know they don't always yeah. notify you, but... When YouTube feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you are interested in seeing some of our favorite colorful palettes, because I like colorful looks. I do too. So, yeah, hang tight because we are getting right into it. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching today and spending some time with us. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we have each picked five different palettes from our collection. Ten. Ten different palettes <laughs> from our collections. And I just like doing, I like picking palettes for different things. Like reasons. Different reasons. Yeah. And... These are not ranked in any way or form. It, I have a hard time ranking. I had a hard time ranking my neutral palettes. And um, I know that they're ranked differently if I had to do it today. I think, I think you have an easier time than me ranking things, though. <laughs> so if I had to rank these, I would have a really hard time. And So we're not doing that. So, yeah. What else aren't we doing? We are <laughs> so many things, and I know you've seen these palettes lots of times if you watch our videos regularly. But I don't like showing off my palettes, <laughs> so what else can we apologize for? Okay, you've seen this shirt before, probably. Yeah, you've seen. I am sorry for that. You've seen a lot of my clothes a lot because I don't have a lot of clothes. <laughs> but um, I, I didn't do a full makeup look myself. I apologize. I am still playing with the Nightflower palette, so that's what on my eyes today, if you're wondering. So, so, my first palette, and this is just, I like the color story, not necessarily the formula. So, I love this color story. It's very springy, very light and airy. I love these two duochromes or multichromes down here. I like pink and green and yellow together. It is not my favorite formula, but I love the color story on here. And it's packed full of Norse mythology. Yeah. <laughs> and I love the creator, Angelica Newtonvist, that this is from Odin's Eye, by the way. And they collaborated with Angelica Newtonvist on it. So, yeah, I really like this palette a lot. Love the color scheme. So sometimes when they have a, a palette collaboration, they say they say something plus something. But then other times they say something X something. What do you think that means? I think it's the same thing. Oh, okay. I thought maybe there's some sort of secret hidden meaning that I didn't know about. Oh, okay, your turn. Okay. Let's see, my first one that I'm going to show is a small one, but it's been shown on the channel before, I'm pretty sure. But it's just felt like it because it's colorful. So it's a the purple haze. If 
by Huda Beauty. I like I like purple things and I like sparkly metallic things, so you know, hey, what's not to like about that? And next. Okay, next is a very springy palette. It is by it Artist Couture. The name is Ethereal Bloom. It is very much an Easter palette. Um, very pastel-y. I like dark pastels. So, I like that it has a color and then it has a shimmer mm -hmm. to match it with. So, yeah, I really like this palette a lot for Easter time. And speaking of Easter palettes, my next palette is the uh, Hip Dot The Peeps palette, which... I've shown on the channel before, but it's just very colorful and I like it. Very, very good uh, Easter one too, since the the peeps and everything. So I'll get some big bright colors on that, some springy colors. Um, my next one is also a new one to my channel. I bought this. I got it at TJ Maxx. I don't think I've seen this one yet. It is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Ooh. It is a rainbow palette, and they're all fancy. They're all shimmers. I. Well, they're all satin shimmers. I wouldn't say they are. These are yeah. shimmers down here. But these are kind of like satin. Shimmer-esque. Shimmer-esque. They are, like I said, it's not my favorite formula, but... BH Cosmetics went for that one. Yeah, Yeah. B, this is in my BH Cosmetics pick. And, yeah, I just like... That it's a rainbow palette that I have a nice rainbow palette that I can play around with and yeah so I like the look that it came up with when I played with it so it's always nice you to wondered, have. Have you ever wondered why there's so many songs about rainbows? <laughs> I always want I always like a nice rainbow palette with a gradient on it so I've been looking for that for a long time. Why a good are there one. so many palettes with rainbows? You know, because the rainbows. They got nothing to hide. My next one is the Violet Voss. I've got several Violet Voss ones, but I could pick only one. This is the Violet Sunset, and not super colorful, but it's got some. It's got some good colors in it. A little lighter, some of these ones, but kind of a good range, good mix there of stuff. So that's a cool one. Not as many purples as you'd think from one being named Dr. Violet. There's just really the two. But I guess Sunset, too. So Violet and Sunset. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Okay. My next one is from Lethal Cosmetics. I know I'm having some problems with Lethal Cosmetics formula right now. But this is the Lethal is Dead formula. Um, co collaboration. Collaboration with Teresa is Dead and I just love this color story here. Um, I love Treats is Dead too. And um, yeah, I, I also love that it is based off of, of horror movies. <laughs> um, so there is like the final girl and VHS. Body Snatched and Ancient Evil. Watery Grave. <laughs> it was Ancient Evil. That one right there. Okay. This one right here. Vengeful Spirit. <laughs> but um, it has some really cool colors. Is there one it. called Let's Split Up? No. In the mirror thing there it says, don't look behind you. <laughs> yeah. But this is the first pot I ever purchased from Lethal Cosmetics. And I am having better luck with their formula now. So, yeah. Caused you many opportunities for difficulty? <laughs> it's working better for me. Alright, so my next one here is again is the one that I stole from you, Declutter. No, I oh, no, wait, this is No, wait, this is... No, yours is the Gemini one. Right. This is my actually one, right. Right. Because cause, um, cause that's... I, I look exactly like that. And um, this is the She Glam, the Sagittarius one. I He Glam was all out. I tried, you know. Um... But uh, this was really cool because it's colorful, but it's, it is all like purples and stuff. But I do like purples very much, so 
And also, I'm an independent and wanderlust dreamer. Did you know? So, yeah. Okay, my next is my ColourPop choice. And I just did a look on this a couple of days ago. And it is the Lush Life palette. And this is a nice spring or summer palette. Um, that is the color story. I like the blues and the greens. But I made a nice um, red, orange, yellow look the other day with it as well. And yeah, this is my... Th I have a lot of ColourPop palettes, but most of, them, <laughs> most of them are pretty neutral. To tell you the truth, this is probably the most colorful palette I have from ColourPop. So, and it's a good formula too. So, yeah, sometimes you get colorful palettes from places and the color just doesn't show up very well. But um, this one really did a really good job so and the cool thing about ColourPop is if you go on the website and you don't see any ones that you like just wait a couple days and check back again because they'll have released a new one by then okay so what's your next palette my next one is the ace beauté falling for you that's got some some good colors in there some bright ones for some bright fall ones there and you know normally i'm not a huge fan of yellow but i could see how that would uh, mix in with some of the other ones. Actually, it's, no, sorry, it's orange. I'm so good with colors. Oh, no, I think I messed up. I have another BH one in here. <sighs> so I cheated. You ruined the entire video. Okay. We'll let it go. I have another BH palette. It, it's the Passion in par, Paris. Par is what? What is par? Paris. Oh, Paris. Okay. The Passion in Paris. It has a lot of blues, a lot of burgundy type colors, um, purples, um, yeah, I like these colors a lot, um, I actually haven't used this palette, okay. so I don't know if it's a good palette, but I know BH has a good quality, and... So I'm hoping to use this palette soon. So, yeah. We have this palette for you. <laughs> My next one here is uh, by Beauty Creations. Uh, uh, Esmeralda II, who I'm assuming is some sort of queen or historical figure. I don't think so. <laughs> and, uh... Not super color. That is kind of a, a fallish one there too, but it's got some good, got some good shimmers and stuff like that. So I like that. And I was starting to run out of uh, brands to do. Although I was surprised to find out I have palettes representing more than ten brands. Who knew? Okay, my next palette is from Menagerie Cosmetics, and it is the Feral palette again. Wow. I really like this color story, although it is not my favorite formula because it does stain the eyes but again I love greens and reds and um, this sort of greeny blue together I also love a, a mix a little mix of neutrals as it's like well some greens and flowers and stuff yeah so yeah, and I love the artwork on this as well. Mm -hmm. They always do a good job with their artwork. <laughs> yeah, that's really neat. So, again, just a really good, I would call this like a summer palette kind of look. So, yeah, I like that a lot. And notice I am not pulling any of my Natasha Denona palettes for <sighs> this. Because I would call most of them neutral or monochromatic. And um, I wouldn't call monochromatic colorful. Because it's just like one color over and over again. But darling, Natasha, she'll be simply gutted. Well, Alright then. Uh, on we go. And my next one is the... Is, oh yeah, this was just Ulta. I kept thinking this was Colourpop, but it's not. Uh, so this is the when they did the Harry Potter palettes 
<laughs> Ravenclaw. You know, the little sparkles and stuff there. This is some cool stuff. And uh, wit, wisdom, and learning. I think you ended up with the Gryffindor one, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which one is that? Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah. You're totally the Gryffindor. <laughs> you charging ahead. No, I'm the... I'm the, I'm the nerd. I'm the nerd child. Well, that's a Hufflepuff. Oh, the, I don't know. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> the rest. I don't know. It's like, it's like Gryffindor is the jocks and Ravenclaw is the brains and Slytherin is the troublemakers. And Hufflepuff are the everybody else. <laughs> I don't know what I am. I read the books. The loyal ones. I read the books, but I was an adult. Yep. It was. You you did. You read them and you were an adult. I liked them, but I wasn't. An adult. I liked them, but I wasn't into them. You know? You're saying you don't read, you know, the uh, 200k words of Harry Potter fan fiction each week like I do. <laughs> no. What would happen if Dumbledore went to the Smurfs village? Okay, we need to move on. Okay, my next is the Hip Dot Zion palette. Yeah. Again, very springy colors. I like these colors. Um, when I need oranges or yellows, again... Um, there's some pink and reds in here. There's some purples. I don't use this pot nearly enough, but I need to start using it some more. It's sad. It's a sad palette. Okay. And my next one is the Urban Decay Born to Run. And, um, which is, is ironic because I don't really like running all that much. But, uh, get the good, cool uh, photo artwork on the front there and... Got a good little range of ones there. Not super bright, but uh, a good mix of colors. So that's a that's a cool one for that. And got some shimmers and stuff in there too. Okay, my next one is my Nomad pick, and it is the Haunted Europe. Mm. I have ones that are a lot brighter colors, but I think my favorite stuff that is haunted shouldn't be too bright. My favorite Nomad palette. They're all colorful, but I think my favorite one is the Haunted Europe one. And it has your greens, it has your oranges, it has your golds, it has your blues, Browns. it has your purples, it has... It has your beige. It even has a red up here. So, they're kind of muted colors, but I kind of like that too. Even, I, I mean, I have a rainbow palette in here. <coughs> so, yeah, I like... I like these kind of colors too. So yeah, and it has this uh, thing with the lenticular shifting picture on the front there. Yeah. That's like saying that lenticular. Lenticular dong. <laughs> and here's my my color pop entry. The it's a moon. I like this one. Palette, a lot. Which is quite colorful indeed. Not super like glaring colorful. But it's a good mix of dark and medium range ones and, you know, not rainbow, but a good, a good mix. Got some blues and purples and such and some sparkly ones in there too. Some very sparkly ones. Like the one, like the ritual one. Like the skincare rituals. <laughs> Ritual. And finally, I have my Ace Pute favorite palette, favorite colorful palette. Although they are colorful. This is sort of my grungy rainbow palette that I really like and yeah so again don't play with this one as much as I would like to but um would love to pull that one in a Wheel of Fortune palette edition okay, okay. what um, have you got there uh, final one is the Queen King Ching I think. Ching Ching Beauty Exotic Pop and it says it's my it's my secret eyeshadow palette, but I'm still going to show it. So, you know. And very, very much color. There are 88 colors in yeah. there. Look at all those colors. We've played palette mm. bingo with this. Mm. If you ever want to see us play palette bingo with that again, leave a comment down below. That's right. 
It's got some good, 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 cool mix of that, and so many sparkly ones on the bottom there. Just, oh, sparkly. Okay, and I, those are our favorite colorful palettes. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite colorful palettes are, and um, for spring or whenever. Um, these aren't necessarily for spring. These are anytime palettes. And um, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, comment down below. And we hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day out there today. Enjoying your weekend or a week whenever you are watching this. If you are not, we hope something comes along and sparks your day so that you can have a wonderful weekend or a week. Whenever you are watching, day or night, past or future, wherever you are in the world, and if you are having an especially hard time, remember we are thinking of you and sending you out those good vibes, and just remember, always remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there, and we will see you in our Ipsy versus Ipsy tomorrow. And just stay well until then. Okay, goodbye.